I'm TJ and today I'm gonna bring you a new video on Mastercam case study. And today I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about the differences between um, the Mastercam 3D uh, contour here and the second tone pad is uh, the the surface high speed project tone pad. Okay. And I will cover uh, when we can use the the 3D contour and when we should use the project tone pad. Okay, you can see on the screen I have a park like this. This just uh, this park is just for information purpose only. It's not a real park, but um, it has some feature that you can see you can find on your everyday park you are working on. Okay, some something like. Um, uh, a, a tapper, some tapper surface like this, some vertical wall uh, where you want to uh, do some finish, some do some uh, 3D finish here on, on the on the wall here, and some sometimes you can see something like this. Uh, it look like a a hissing system. <coughs> you can see the fin and the uh, the end, and at the end of, of the the fin we have some tapper surface here surfaces here okay you can see yeah <coughs> this is not a, a horizontal is uh, it's had an angle here okay and some kind we have something like this yeah a vertical wall surrounded by a uh, I don't know how to call this a 3d surface yeah and you want to use an a flat end mill to, to finish uh, this this wall yeah this vertical wall okay <clears throat> and beside that I have some uh, we'll turn to the back of the park okay and you can see we have some uh, surface uh, the side surface here we want to uh, cut with an end mill so I will show you how we can use the 3d contour and the uh, Protect tone pad, and we can see the difference. Okay. Uh, first, I will try with the 3D contour. Okay. Uh, let's see on this. <coughs> For example, I will change the the surface color so you can see it's more clear. Change phase. Okay. For the wall, I will mark it in uh, maybe a green color uh, in green. Okay. Like this one. Okay. I gonna make I'm gonna make market with green 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 ping and ping okay so the green surfaces is the wall we want to finish cut with a, an end mill okay and the next one I will mark the floor yeah this is the floor surface I will mark in red okay this one this one okay <coughs> now you can see we have two uh, set of surfaces the first one is the green surfaces with the wall we want to finish and the red one is the floor up on the park we don't want the, the end mill uh, cut into these surfaces yeah if the end mill cut into the red surfaces is can be considered as a collision okay so we will start with the the 3d tone pad okay we go to the tone pad and gonna select uh, da, 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 contour ping and now we can select the contour we want the machine okay I will start first with this one okay select the chain in okay in Maybe uh, another one, maybe this one. Uh, no, no, no. This one, maybe okay. Okay, so you can see I have select two chains. The first one here and the, and the second one is here, okay. I have a quarter end mill, so I can use this one for, for the cut, okay. And the tool with the holder, the cut parameter, okay. Now you can see. <coughs> Because the chain we select is, is a 3D chain, so the master cam automatically uh, change this type to 3D. Okay, 
and I will choose 3D here in this case and stock to leave on wall 0, stock to leave on floor 0 we can uh, have some lead in and lead out okay maybe a small value okay like this one all right and because this is 3d we can only select an incremental uh, value okay okay you can see uh, the depth of cut I will input zero that mean the the bottom of the tool will uh, they contact with the, the chain we uh, have selected okay like this one all right let's take a look you can see this is the 3d tone pad in, 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 in. yeah this is the 3d contour yes and uh, You can see when we use the depth of cut to zero, the bottom of the tool will con contact with the chain we selected. Here you can see at this point around here, yeah. But because the floor are on the park, it does not a 3D and it's cur is uh, it has the staff like this, so you can see uh, uh, the rest of the tool have cut into the floor like this yeah and that's what we don't want at this position you can see is uh this is the the amount of the collision but when we go here we have uh, we have a little little uh collision yeah because the surface is is more uh, shallow and when the tool move to the div to the steep area area of of the floor you can see is cut into the floor a, a lot so yeah this is the 3d contour and in this case it's, it's not work well right if you input some value like uh, maybe uh, 0.125 above uh, the chain above the chain so you can see uh, let's check now I lift the tool enough but maybe too much the tool now not uh, now is not uh, it doesn't collide with this the, the floor surface, but it's go too high. I think it may be a point zero five is okay in this case. And yeah, now we have no collision. Oh, we we still have some small collision here. At the, at the at the end of the tool pad, yeah. So this is a 3D contour. We'll see how it's go here. Okay, we will check it here to see if we have any collision. Back back, okay. Yeah, if I'm make it zero so you can see if you have any collision here then 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 yeah because this is a 3d surface so we are very very uh it's very difficult to control um the the height of, of the tool by using the depth depth cut here so it's a very difficult job back 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 and you can see here see here if we use a 3d um, contour we still have we still have the collision like this yeah we don't want a tool to uh, to touch the, the floor here so we have to move the tools up yeah I, I think this one is uh, enough yeah maybe it is enough but you can see it's, it's left a, a lot of material here because we input 0 0.05 so the tool will uh, go up 0 0.05 yeah you can see ah uh, for the 3d contour is uh, a little bit difficult to, to control the, the depth of the tool and uh, for for multiple chains we uh, may be impossible to uh, to avoid the collision of the tool uh, with the floor of the park yeah 
so um, I can say it's, it's not a good uh, solution when we use uh, the 3D contour where um, where we where the park uh, have some uh, 3D uh, surface at the floor like this in this case okay we will try another one now I select another chain rechannel now I can select uh, this one okay let's see oh in this case I have to select another smaller tool I will create a, a, maybe a, yeah a 1A lead in and lead out okay if we input 0 to see we can see what happened here in 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 yeah it have some collision here uh, it's not problem I just want to show you um, you can see from uh, at the at the start of the contour to this section we have collision here yeah it's gap into the park you can see here this is where the collision happened so we go up here and from here to here the tool cut into the park yeah not good 3d contour not good in this case okay so uh, I have a, a case that you can use the 3d contour is very good uh, is a very good uh, solution okay you can see on the the back surface the back of the park we have some wall here we need to do the finish okay this uh, I will change this color maybe we go with uh, yellow yellow or oh no orange orange where's orange uh, okay maybe this one okay for example I want to to do the finish cut on this uh, yellow surface I will measure the distance from here to here okay I will measure the distance uh, um, 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 distance from here to here you can see the Z uh, the, the difference in Z is around uh, point uh, 58 but in this case, for example, I want to finish it with this tool, uh, the quarter end mill. You can see the the uh, cutting length is only um, yeah three about three eight point uh, three seventy five. So if we use the two D, okay, for example, uh, okay, if I use the two D contour. 2D and I use the depth here. Okay. Choo. Let's see. Oh no, 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 not this tool. This one. Okay. You can see at this uh, area the tool cut because the fluid length is uh, the fluid length is greater than the the high the height of uh, the wall here so it cut no problem but we go from here to here you can see uh, we have an error that here does not uh, is has not been cut yet so we have to use um, multiple depth of cut maybe uh, yeah one and yes like this Yes, and that can be a waste of time. The first depth of cut, and the second, and this is a way of time. So in this case, it's not a good solution when we use the 2D contour. But look at this when we when I use the 3D contour, we, you can see the difference. Okay, I can select this chain. Okay, now we select this chain. I instead of using 2d contour I will use the 3d contour and 
the incremental depth maybe uh, 205 uh, 0 0.05 or 22 0 0.02 is enough and we don't need the depth cut anymore okay let's see if we can uh, finish it with one cut you can see from here to here yeah so you can see that in this case when I use the 3d contour we can finish the side surface with only one cut no need depth of cut so this is a better solution so we can save time instead of using multiple depth of cut so see that this is a 3d contour yeah one case that we can use a 3d contour very effective okay okay so uh, you can see with the 3d contour um, it, it can be not good uh, in some case uh, where we have some uh, floor and we don't want the tool to cut into the floor and next I have another the second tool pad I will go to the uh, 3d high speed project okay Uh, but first okay I will talk something about the uh, the project okay the, the project tool pad we have uh, if if you have ever used this kind of tool pad it have three type of projection um, you can use the the point or you can use the curve or the third one you can use the NCI parameter NCI da data from uh, another tool pad so in this case I just want to, to talk about the, the, the third the third um, method of project that's the use the NCI okay first I'm gonna make uh, some curve here okay and make some curve here uh, okay ding ding all right you can see I have some curve and I'm gonna make a uh, 2D tool path here, okay. 2D with uh, all right. This is a 2D tool path created by a, a quarter end mill, okay. And now I will project this NCI data to this surface, okay. We're gonna use the tool path and we go to project select the surface now I'm gonna select the surface we want the tool to be projected okay I select the floor surface like this and we can uh, input the the amount of stock we want to live on the floor maybe uh, in this case 0 0.01 okay fine and in the tool we select the quarter and mill and in cut parameter you can see we have two, uh, sorry, three pro projection type, the points, the curve, and the NCI. Okay. In this video, I just want to say about the NCI option. Okay. Now we select the tool path that we want to take the NCI and project that tool path to our surface. Okay. That's enough. Uh, okay sorry we need to select the tool pad again this one the number four tool pad is the contour we want to project in okay you can see after the project this is the project tool pad you can see and in it's different to the the, the 3d tool pad the tool will automatically calculation uh, calculated and it will uh, stay uh, at a distance with the floor so you don't you don't have to worry about the collision uh, of the tool with the floor surface and the tool is always contact close with the floor close as close as possible yeah you can see no collision so we don't have to uh, um, calculate the depth of cut uh, or something yeah master can we calculate it very simple and very effective so
yeah you can see very very nice toolpad with no collision if I use a 3d toolpad you can see we are very difficult to uh, calculate all right oh sorry back okay for example this is a 3d toolpad This is a 3D tool pattern, you can see we have collision. Yeah, that's crazy. It's, it's very difficult to, uh, to make the tool stay to the floor, stay, stay close to the, store, uh, the floor. But this one, the surface, project tool pad, everything become uh, easy. Yeah, like this. No collision. Yeah, we use the floor surfaces to, to, to drive the tool, to guide the tool, so no, 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 no need to worry about the, the collision. Yeah, okay. And with the uh, project tool pad, we have uh, mon depth of, multiple depth of cut options. So maybe I will measure the distance from the top to the bottom of this fin is about, uh, yeah, 0.45. So maybe I will go... Uh, 10 passes okay and one pass e okay and this is another way we can do finish the uh the fin yeah shoo 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 okay wonderful <clears throat> If you can extend this surface, uh, you can see uh, when we look from the, the left, we have a, a little bit uh, curve down here because there's no surface to project. Uh, if you want, is you, you don't want this one, you can extend the surface like this. I will show you. Okay, uh, from surface, from solid, and uh, I can extend this one. Ah, too much. <laughs> Yeah, that's still too much. Maybe 25 is okay. And now we're back to the surface selection. Uh, I can select this surface. Okay. Choo. Then, 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 then. Yeah, it's, it's, it's better now. You can see no... Uh, curve down here so you don't have to worry about the lead in the lead out is will not uh, collide with with our park okay you can input a small value like this all right yes very good and then no collision everything is automatically uh, calculated yeah you can see if that is too close to the floor and you want you need space for for finishing with a ball mill so you can uh, adjust the stock to live on uh, the floor uh, we have some uh, issue with master cam here when we select the surface uh, it disappear All right. you can go on floor stock maybe to Poison too. So the tool will uh, stay uh, at a distance. Uh, poison two uh, from the, the floor. Okay. You can see we have the distance. Uh, I can pretty sure this is an issue with this tool pad. I have this every time when I uh, go back to reselect the services, everything it disappear. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, that is another type. Uh, this. Okay. Uh, the next one I I can try the the project tool pad on this curve. I will add a uh, 
sorry, I, I'm gonna create another 2D toolpad, okay? <clears throat> Yeah, now I'm gonna make a... Uh, I'll cut this one. Alright. 2D tool pad. Select uh, the depth cut, maybe right here. Yeah, 2D. Lead, lead in and lead out. Yeah, this is the tool pad we use for project. And the next one, we go to the tool pad and project. We select the machining surface. Now, in this case, I use this surface for the check. <coughs> and I can input the amount I want to leave on the floor surface. And now, now, now we go to yeah, NCI for projection type, and we select this surface. Now, maybe uh, no need of depth cut, so we just input one, and let's see. Ah, crazy. Contour, okay. Now you can see mm, no collision. Yeah, perfect. Everything is automatically calcula calculated. Yeah. See? No collision. Yes, that's the, the difference between the 3D contour and the the, the project tone pad. So I think uh, I have after this video, you can uh, have some uh, thinking about when we can use the 3D contour and when we can use the project tone pad uh, with the uh, NCI projection type. Okay. I talk too much today and uh, I don't know if you can understand me. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, I think that's, that's all for today and uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.